So you got to let eggplant appoint me. And it possibly could be a round for round type of situation. Sis, let me get straight to the point and show you a few quick tips and tricks that you can use. So that first of all, you won't have no embarrassing moments and you will be ready for whatever. Let go. A dream is a wish your heart makes. Straighten it. Maybe I need to. Hey y'all, what's up? This is your girl P Hope, and I am back with another video. Um, anyway, I know that I have never done anything like this before. I think um, you know, I've had a lot of requests to do certain videos. I didn't get a request for this one, but, <laughs> but I just felt compelled to let y'all know, you know, a couple of little quick tips and tricks that I use. When I know that, you know, um, I'm about to be have my legs throwing up the peace sign. So, yeah. So, anyway, the first thing I'm starting with is this. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And, honey, don't click off and don't look at me crazy like, oh, my God. I know she don't, I know she about to not know what she's talking about, honey, because she's sitting here pulling out a dush. Don't nobody dush. Well, you're right, sis. Don't nobody dush because I don't either. I need the bottle, okay? So, um, this is the four-pack. The Equate brand was the cheapest one they had. Pretty much all these bottles do the same thing. So I just need the bottle because what's in the contents of this bottle is about to be down the drain. Okay. All right. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I can go on and open it up for y'all because hell ain't nobody touching it but me. <clears throat> but yeah. So what's in the contents of this bottle uh, right now is vinegar and water. But what I'm going to do is pour this out and I'm going to fill this up with warm water and this right here. Chobani Greek yogurt, non-fat and it's plain. It's the plain. Oh, y'all, I need to figure out how to turn this around so that it's, it's readable for y'all. But anyway, y'all get what I'm saying. <laughs> it's non-fat plain Greek yogurt is what's going to go inside of the bottle. So I'm just going to take a little spoon. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm at the, the butt end of a cold. It's, it's getting ready to leave. So I do apologize for all this clearing my throat. But yeah, um, I'm just going to take a spoon. Um, and sometimes I take a little, uh, I take the, the other end of it because it's a plastic spoon. And sometimes I take the other end of it. Just scoop it and um, just put it down in here. So I'm going to put it to about right there. That's how much yogurt is going to be in here from here down. And then the rest is going to be water. And then I shake it up really, really well. Really, really well. Really, really well. Okay. And then once I get that all shook up, of course, it's... Um, it's just real cloudy. It's cloudy and it's, and um, most of the time it's a little chunky. Like no matter how much I shake it, I'll never get it where it's smooth. I saw Chobani had the liquid yogurts that, you know, they're supposed to be for like on the go. But um, the problem is I only saw flavors. Sis, do not fill this thing up with no dang on strawberry yogurt, no peach yogurt, no mixed berries. Come on. Oh, he going to love this. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. It needs to be plain Greek. Now, I don't know if fat or non-fat makes a difference, but I do know that it needs to be plain Greek, okay? So, um, this is what I am going 
to clean my insides with warm water greek yogurt that's it now how am i gonna go about doing this <clears throat> i'm going to run this through i'm gonna run one full bottle through one time now how do i do this i do it sitting on the toilet however you want to get it in i have done it in the shower i just um lift one leg up on my shower rack i lift one leg up on my shower rack and um and i can do it that way but it's much easier for me and i feel like i can do it a lot slower if i do it while i'm sitting on the toilet so um that's probably what i'm gonna do tonight so um i'm just going to run this one time and then i already have a second one on standby because i like to do it twice but i i ain't finna want to feel this same thing up again and do all that like no we're just gonna make two of these from the beginning okay so <clears throat> so then i'm gonna go through with the second bottle run that through real slow and then i'll fill up that second bottle with just warm water no more yogurt and then that way that's getting out that last little bit of those um yogurt chunks you know <laughs> but the liquid part of the yogurt is still you know what i'm saying it's still in there sanitizing and doing its thing you know what i'm talking about so yeah um so you will actually end up running this bottle three times okay three times all right so that's the first thing you want to do and now after you've done all that it's time to get in the shower so once you get in the shower the first thing you want to make sure that you do is that you're washing with a all white washcloth i don't know why people are so infatuated with sponges i don't know why people are infatuated with using a washcloth more than one time listen maybe that's a skinny person thing maybe it's a age um a age gap kind of thing so let me just say that i'm talking to my 30 and over and my big girls that's who i'm talking to get yourself a pure white washcloth now me personally I purposefully go out and look for cheap white washcloths. Why? Because even though I only use one washcloth at a, you know, I only use one per one per shower session. You know what I mean? It's like if I take a shower tonight, I'm not using that same washcloth in the morning. Like, no, I'm grabbing a whole nother washcloth. So um, yeah. I like to use the cheap washcloths. I feel like they clean just as well as the thicker ones. You know, my grandmother swears that my skin is just going to turn into, I don't know what she thinks it's going to turn into because I use the uh, cheap washcloths. She loves, she'll use a colored washcloth, but they got to be the thick, plush, you know, better homes and gardens type of situation. No. I don't care if I get them off Amazon, eBay, where I order them from. I want them to be thin, cheap, and white because I'm going to throw them away very quickly. I can't tell y'all how many 18 packs I go through. I, I would be scared to know how many of these I buy in a year. But anyway, y'all, this is an 18 pack of white washcloths from walmart these are only four dollars i think that was actually three dollars and 97 cents so once you run the taxes it's going to hit you for about four dollars but the key is whether you want your washcloth to be cheap or expensive make sure that it is white because at the end of the day no matter how much you pay for the wa for the washcloth if it's a colored washcloth those dyes are coming off you're not telling me that 100% of that color is staying in that washcloth. No, it's coming off. And it's coming off on your skin. So, um, pure white is the way to go. Now, next thing, what am I going to, you know, cleanse my body with? I've showed y'all this before, so I'm just going to touch on it real briefly. I, I use the, um, the Dr. Bronner's. This is the almond scented 
uh, Castile soap. That is what I wash my body with. This is what cleanses me. This is what gets me squeaky clean. But if I only use this, it's going to dry my skin out because this is designed to cleanse. You know, this is more of like a antibacterial type of soap, okay? But it's really, really good for um for showering and bathing with, y'all. You got to try it. You got to try it. Um, but yeah, like I said, it for me personally, it dries my skin out. Again, now for this next part, I'm only talking to my big girls. I'm only talking to my people who may have health conditions. You may be um, elderly. I don't know who you are and why you're watching my video. But for whatever reason, if you have any body parts that you have a hard time getting to, or if you're like me, you don't necessarily have a hard time getting to your body parts. You're just lazy when it comes to certain body parts. Invest in these. Please invest in these because every part of your body is important. Whether you have a peeing appointment or not. Like cleansing your body is just cleansing your body. And let's keep it a thousand. When you're a big girl... We have rolls, we have dents, we have cracks, we have crevices that they get sweaty. They get sweaty, they get dirty, they get funky, okay? And so you have to be able to wash your body in its entirety, no matter what that is. You know what I'm saying? I'm 300 myself. I am a big girl. I take all pride in it. So with that being said, I make sure that I don't walk around here smelling some type of way. So, um, now when I say it's certain body parts that I don't really care to wash when I get in the shower, I am referring to anywhere from below the kneecap and on down. Listen, by the time I get to that part in the shower, I be tired, I be over it. And when I tell you this brush is the best thing that could have ever happened to me, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. You're the best. Anyway, um, this is the best thing that ever happened to me because it, <laughs> it gave me the accessibility to just squeeze a little soap on here. And I be scrubbing the hell out my legs and my feet. And like my feet and, and from on up be very fresh, very refreshed, very good to go. You know what I mean? And I be done scrubbed the hell out of y'all. This brush is the ish. Um, You can also find these brushes at Walmart. This brand is called, this is um Eco Tools. Eco Tools is the brush for this. And I got this particular brush from Walmart. And like I said, I use this brush strictly for my feet. This is the feet brush right here, okay? Don't judge me. Judge your mama and her stinking feet, all right? Because I ain't got nothing to do with it. Now, the loofah type of brush, this is also Eco Tools, okay? But um, this brush, I actually use on my back. This brush is for my back um, because I can reach all my lower back. I can reach most of the upper back, but middle back, I'm drawing a blank. Middle back, I'm drawing a blank. I'm not even finna try to contort myself to do all of that when they make stuff that can help you out, okay? So once again, you put your soap on here on the loofah part and you scrub the hell out your back. You don't say, well, I can't see my back, so why would I wash it? Nobody's going to be laying on my back or smelling my back or grabbing my back, so why do I need to wash it? Because it's a part of you. That's why you need to wash it, okay? Young man or young woman, whoever you are watching this, clean your body in its entirety. I don't know how many times I need to say that, but somebody need to hear it, so I'm going to keep saying it. Wash your body in its entirety, okay? So, yeah, these are just some things that can help y'all out 
if you struggle and get tired or lazy or whatever the case may be in the shower. Look, your girl gets high and lazy in the shower too, but at the end of the day, I got to be smelling right. <sighs> okay. Now that we have scrubbed our skin so it is Okay, now that the skin is squeaky clean, we have to go in and moisturize it. Me personally, I just go with <clears throat> I just go with the Dove. Um, this is the Snow Blossom. They don't have this scent year round, but um, well, in my Walmart, in my Walmart, they don't carry the Snow Blossom year round, but you can order it. Um, if it's not in store, I think this is more like, um, one of their seasonal scents, but y'all, it smells so good. It's giving, Ooh, it's giving, um, I don't know. I can't even explain it. It's like a little bit of peach, a little bit of flower, a little bit of that, um, mag, uh, how do you pronounce that word? Is it magnolia oil? Y'all, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, it smells really, really good. So this is what I go behind the Dr. Bronner's with to moisturize my skin. So then my skin goes from feeling really squeaky to really slippery. And so when my skin starts to get, to get that slippery feeling, that's how I know that it is now moisturized. Okay? So now that we don't moisturize, we still in the shower now. We still in the shower. We don't moisturize. So the last thing that I want to do before I get out is wash my face. I wash my face in the shower. I know um, a lot of you all have a whole face routine. And I feel like um, by me becoming a woman of a certain age, it's definitely time for me to, um, to start a face routine. So um, I want to see what products I really, really just want to start with. Um, and, and something that I can do like a nightly ritual with, um, in front of my sink. But for right now, I'm a shower type of girl. So this is actually on my shower rack in the shower. Okay. This is the Cetaphil. Hmm. The light is kind of bling, bling, blinging. But anyway, this is the Cetaphil or Cetaphil, however y'all like to pronounce it, daily facial cleanser. And um, it doesn't have any type of scent or nothing like that to it. But um, it's just really, really good. And I started out telling my daughter to put a couple pumps of this on a white washcloth and wash her face. But I realized that I was telling her the wrong thing. So, y'all, the easiest thing to do is put a couple pumps of this in your hand. Rub it on the tips of your hands and then just apply it with your fingertips apply it with your fingertips let it suds up really really well make sure that you're getting in between the crevices of your nose like for me that has deep eyes make sure you're getting in the corners of your eyes but not in your eyes um, make sure you're getting all the way up to the hairline and all that and um, this facial cleanser actually works really really well um, it has helped me, it has helped my daughter, and has helped my son, who has eczema, and um, he has he has had skin issues in the past, and it really, really helped him. So, if you're looking for a facial cleanser to at least start with, start here. I'm not going to say it's cheap, but on the same sentence, it's not expensive either. You know what I mean? Um, you can get a smaller bottle than this, and I believe that it is about... Um, between seven and eight dollars and it's going to last you because like i said all you need is one or two pumps per day um and then just suds your face up really really well rinse it and you don't want to just wipe your face dry you're going to pat your face dry you're going to take that white washcloth and just pat your face dry as much as possible and then for the rest of the way you're just gonna let it air dry and then you're gonna go back behind that with just a regular facial moisturizer that's it you can pick the facial moisturizer of your choice um you know we're a little ghetto around here so all we do is put on lotion and um we'll get to the lotion in one second 
because we're going in order because I'm telling you how to get ready for your appointment. Okay, sis? So anyway, you don't wash your face. Now you can cut that shower water off because it's time to get out the shower. And once you get out the shower, the first thing you want to do, of course, is dry your body off. You want to um, get completely dry. Me, um, I cut the fans on. I have about three towels that I use. And no, it's not because I'm just that big and wide and huge. But no, I... <laughs> I have a towel that I keep around my body. I have a towel that I have in between the front part of my legs. And then I have a butt towel. Okay, so I have a lot going on, y'all. That has a little bit to do with my um, OCD, if you will. Or no, like my, my germaphobe side. I like to keep everything separate with the body parts, even though they're already clean. So, you know, that's just me. But anyway... After I am completely dry, the first thing I want to do is apply deodorant. Okay, I've showed y'all this before as well. This is the deodorant that I like to use. This is the Degree Motion Sense. And the scent that I use is not doing right on this camera. But it is called Sexy Intrigue. Okay, Sexy Intrigue. All right, well, I tried to get it to act right, y'all, but anyway. But anyway, it's Degree Sexy Intrigue. It's the scent that I like. It smells really, it smells really, really good. It smells like grown woman, okay? So, um, just at least walk by the aisle, pick it up, give it a sniff, and see if you like it or not. So, um, yes, that's the deodorant that I like to put on. And, of course, we already know deodorant goes where? Under your arms. But, if you are a big girl, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. If you haven't seen my Lumi video, you need to go watch it. But if you have seen my Lumi video, then you already know where this sentence is about to go. Okay? Yes, deodorant is made for your underarms. So, you're going to put it under your arms. But, if you are a big girl, or if you are just a sweaty person, what you want to do is also lightly put a row of it under your breast line, under your breast line, not on your breast, lightly under your breast line. Me, I have this boob spillage roll on the side. So I take it under that boob spillage line, go on the other side, hit that boob spillage line. And then I have a whole nother tube of deodorant, which is sitting right over there. I, you know, I would turn the camera around and show y'all, but just take my word for it. I, <laughs> I have a whole nother tube that I take and use on my behind. Yes, I put deodorant in my behind. Now, you can take that however you want to take it, but, you know... They they have a such thing called private parts deodorant, but I have actually just been wearing regular deodorant on my private part, not in the front yard, just in the backyard, okay? My front <laughs> my front yard is good to go, but my backyard, you know, as the day progresses, you get sweaty. Like y'all, everybody has a butt. So let's just keep it real. Your butt don't smell the same way that it smells when you leave the house once you get home, okay? But if you actually do a light coat of deodorant just on the side of your um inner cheek, on each inner cheek, I'm telling you, it makes a world of a difference. It makes a world of a difference. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that, you know, your person will still be able to chew your groceries by the time you get home. But what I'm saying is the... Like the the true funk, it, it was it's not gonna be there. It's not gonna be there. So um, yes, when I'm getting ready for a ping appointment, um, I do still put a light, and I mean very light strip back there. Um, and it's only as light as it is because. You know, you never know. You don't ever know what your person, you don't ever know when your person might want to be strange for a little bit of change. You know what I'm talking about? So you have to be ready and you don't want your person to get back there 
licking and chewing and whatever they like to do and they're eating deodorant or licking and tasting deodorant like that's a that's a buzz killer that's a mood killer like nobody wants that so um like i said i just do a very light coat on the outer what well, no it's it's the inner but it's the cheek like it's nowhere near the hole um sorry i feel like i'm getting too graphic we're gonna move on from this but put your deodorant on first okay that's the first place we're going to start once we're completely dry out the shower, okay? Deodorant. Then you need to moisturize. You need to moisturize your skin because Dove already did, you know, did what he was supposed to do while your body was wet. Now it's time to moisturize while you're dry. So what I like to use, which I've talked about before, is the Cetaphil. Cetaphil intensive healing lotion okay this is the um the one with ceramides now that's why i love it so much because i don't know what it is about the ceramides but baby the ceramides have your skin feeling unusual unusually soft okay like <laughs> pill on me pill on me so if you have had any type of issues or have any type of issues with um with just dry patchy skin that crocodile skin um just just dry skin in general you see what it say right there rough flaky skin they not lying if you have any type of dry skin issues i promise you this is the best twenty dollars you will ever spend when it comes to lotion you'll be like suave what <laughs> jerkins who no it's the feel for me. So yeah, moisturize your entire body. And that's why I told y'all I'll get to what I moisturize my, my face with in a minute. I take a very pea size, and I mean pea size amount of this, moisturize my face, and then move all the way down to the feet. So this is a head to toe lotion for me. Okay, I'm gonna lotion my entire body with this. But you're like, girl what's sexy about a non-scented i mean a non-scented lotion like what man cares about that besides the fact that it just gave you super silky soft skin okay that's the purpose for this with a ping appointment okay that's what that's where you're going to get the soft supple skin from okay because you gotta give them something he can feel yeah but if you're trying to really do it up, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to step out and you're going to have on your sexy lingerie or your cute little panty or a pajama set, whatever the case may be, you want your skin to be glistening. I want my body to be glistening, right? Right. So, this is what you can use. This is the um Palmer's. It's by Palmer's palmer's raw shea balm okay this it looks crazy y'all it looks crazy because it just looks really dry and and stiff okay that's what it's given it's given very much uh why does it sound like somebody downstairs am i i'm gonna kick my son's ass anyway um yeah it's <laughs> It's definitely given um what is this supposed to do for me? But um once it's applied, let me see if I can put a little bit on. Let's see. So here's a little bit on my fingertip, and here is my crazy looking hand. Okay. Now, do you see that instant glow and shine that's on my skin now? Yes. So that is how you put that glow and that shine on your skin without doing too much. You don't want to, you know, fly into the bedroom and introduce yourself looking like a freshly dipped piece of chicken. That's not what you want to do. But you do want to look, you know what I'm saying? You want to look shiny. You want to look refreshed and renewed and like you're ready for action you, you want to look like you want to look like you know what you're doing even if you don't know what you're doing you know what i'm talking about 
if you don't want to just be smelling all natural like Shay, then you can also put on a little bit of whatever your favorite scented lotion is. But now look, sis, we've already done a lot to our skin tonight, okay? So don't overdo it. Now, you're going to have a little bit of this. Now, this is the um, Bath and Body Works Champagne Toast. This is the their body cream. There we go. I'm like, why well, I can't get it to show? Um, yeah, this is their body cream. It smells really, really good. Yes. Yes, the homie turned me on to this. And I have had it and I've been using it ever since. But I use it very, very sparingly because... Um, the trick to this is you put it on, but you make sure that you put it in places that they're not going to be put in their mouth because this does have a taste to it. This does have a pretty loud scent to it, to, in my opinion. Um, it's, it's a pretty loud scent, so it doesn't necessarily matter where you put it. I know as women, we have a tendency to put perfumes and things that smell good. We want to take this and let me put this on my neck or let me put this behind my ear. Let me do this. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me put this on my breast. No, no, because those are all the places where your person is going to be. And so even though they want to be on that neck, they want to be on your chest. It's like, they could retreat to other places of the body very quickly because they don't want to keep eating lotion. They don't want to keep eating lotion and they've been smelling this so strong on those areas where you placed it that they're now getting a headache. Okay. So you got to be careful about that and put your scented lotions on places where your person is not necessarily going to be because they're going to smell it. Trust me. They're going to smell it. So, um, you know, that is a really, really good uh, pointer for you, for you people. Now, and the last thing is just a light perfume, okay? If you really want to make sure that your person smells you without tasting chemicals, okay? So, um, what you can do is, again, you can lightly spray this on places where you know for a fact your person is not going to be like, for example, I know that my man, he'll rub my feet, but he's not going to put his mouth on my feet. Like, I don't care. Like I would have to pull out some serious money for him to, <laughs> for him to put his mouth on my feet. Like we both discussed that, like from the beginning of the relationship that we're not messing with each other's feet. We just not, we'll, we'll we massage each other's feet. But yeah, no, that, that's far as it's going, okay? That's all we got. So I can spray this on my feet and, and I know it's not going to be a problem. I can spray this behind my kneecaps. I know that's not going to be a problem. I can spray this on this, you know, like the outsides of my arms. Because even though he may be laying in those places at some point, those are places that he's not going to necessarily be licking or having his mouth right there. So... You know, I don't have to worry about him putting his mouth on all this chemical. Okay. So, um, yeah, lightly spray that. And if you don't want to, um, put your sprays on, um, oh, I didn't even tell y'all what this is. This is just some little cheap Victoria's Secret love spell. Um, I love using the Victoria's Secret sprays, the light sprays, um, when I am having an appointment. Because they're light and they are, they're just real, it's just a real free spirited type of scent without being overpowering. You know what I'm saying? Like this is probably not something that I would spray to go out to a nightclub because ain't nobody going, when you walk by, they're not going to be like, oh, excuse me. When they walk by, when you walk by, they're not going to be like, oh girl, you smell good. Like, no, you just smell like some cheap body spray. Like, it's cute. It's cute. Don't get me wrong, but you're not giving money. Th this is not giving money, okay? So, <laughs> I feel like these are really, really good sprays for the bedroom. So, yeah. Um, What I was getting ready to say was, if you don't want to spray this on your body in odd places, what you can actually do is just spray this on whatever it is that you're going to be wearing. I understand. I get it. That, you know, most of the time 
whatever little fancy cute stuff we put on or even if we just got our t-shirt and our panties on like as soon as we put it on it's coming off like i get that but um if you just want to spray it on those items that you're going to have on momentarily then you can do that too that's fine so yeah now that you are moisturized, you smelling good, your skin is glowing, your attitude is popping, and you looked in the mirror and said, I'm that girl. And Zaddy, come take me, I'm yours. The last thing you need to do, sis, is get that mouth together. Get that breath together. Because at this point, he's on the way. He's almost here, but your breath still smell like the zoo. So... Now, that is when you start with this. You get the dental floors. Get you some dental floors. And you're going to floss your teeth. Floss your teeth. And that's going to get all the um, plaque, all the food that you ate for the day, um, the drinks that you had, that, that strong-ass coffee that done went in between and outs between your teeth. Um, that's going to help remove all of that. Okay. Once you get that going, you're going to rinse your mouth out very, very well. And then you're going to go behind that with your toothpaste. This is my particular toothpaste of choice. This is the peroxy care. I love baking soda toothpaste. Y'all I'm just from the old school. I definitely think that um, it, it's really not much out there that beats a baking soda toothpaste. Y'all can prove me wrong if you want to, but that's just me. So this is the Arm & Hammer Peroxy Care Toothpaste. That's what I use. That's what I prefer. So you're going to brush your teeth with that. You know, it, anybody, over the age, <laughs> anybody over the age of eight years old, you know, y'all should know how to brush your teeth. I shouldn't have to explain all of that. But anyway, you brush your teeth. You're going to rinse that out, and then you're going to floss a couple more times to make sure that you got everything out. Okay, floss, rinse. You're going to brush one more time. Brushing does not just have something to do with having white teeth because, and it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that you just flossed very well because you still have the roof of your mouth, you still have a fat ass tongue in your mouth and you still have cheeks. You know, you have your outside cheeks. Them outside cheeks have inside cheeks too, okay? So all of that stuff has to be brushed because guess what? If you want to sit up here when your boo gets to you and you want to kiss like y'all in the movies, you do not want to ruin the moment because your breath smells like a bag of what the f is that? Okay? Don't 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 turn your person off because you were being lazy about handling your dental care okay so um yes make sure that you brush your mouth in its entirety what's today's word people entirety yeah you got it right yes so you are going to wash that mouth in its entirety okay you have teeth you have a tongue you have the roof of the mouth you have the cheeks and you also have the back of the teeth don't just brush the front don't just brush the front you actually have to go uh-huh behind those teeth and brush all of that too okay and that, that listen i never kissed a girl so when I'm why why I'm going this hard, I'm really ain't even talking to you ladies. I'm talking to you fellas, okay? If it's any fellas on here watching how to get ready for a ping appointment, first of all, shout out to you. Because nine times out of ten, I'm not judging you because nine times out of ten, you know, you just probably trying to see like what do what is it that we really be going through to get ready for y'all? So this is a lot, right? It's a it's a little, but it's a lot. So anyway. Now you have fresh breath, your skin is popping, your outfit is popping. Shoot. All now at this point, all you gotta do is get ready for your man. Now I did forget to show y'all my little um Dentec professional oral care kit. And 
I use this little thing, but it's actually, if you if you could tell, something's missing from right here. Oh, it's something that's very similar to this, but it's metal. I like to use that to pick all of the um, what is is that tartar? Is it plaque? I don't know what it is. But I like to go in between my teeth and I, I, I dig, I dig and I get saw that, okay? So, um, this is a little kit that you can get out of Walmart. Very, very useful, um, to aid in having, um, your fresh breath, okay? So, this is the Dentec, um, oral care kit. And then last but not least, to, um, to end your get ready. With yourself for your boo is the mouthwash you gotta have mouthwash and this is called smart mouth it used to be called dirty mouth okay it used to be called dirty mouth and then they changed the name over to smart mouth and the top of it looks like this and let me see if I can hold both ends Y'all, I'm probably about to make a huge mess right here on camera, but we're going to try it. Ah, I told y'all. Okay, let me try again. Okay. Oh. Anyway, I don't know if y'all could, I'm going to try to hurry up. If y'all could tell, one side is green, one side is clear. And so, it's made like that, y'all. I have, let me, let me get one of these damn white washcloths. So, anyway... It's made like that because this particular um, scent that I got is spearmint. So, um, but yeah, it's made for you to wash this around in your mouth for, um, I think I do it for maybe like 20, 30 seconds or something like that. But anyway, you'll know when it's time to come out because the taste completely switches up in your mouth and it, it's, it tastes disgusting once that, that, um, those chemicals get mixed up together Y'all, I, I mean, I'm not even finna hold y'all. It tastes disgusting. But when I tell you, you don't have to worry about, um, about bad breath. You can talk to your partner right here all night talking about her, huh, you. Yeah, you can say all that and they're going to be like, damn, babe, your breath is really nice. Your breath is really nice. And then you can fall asleep and you can wake up in the morning and you can still, after a night breath, you can still get up and talk to your person and that breath still going to be right, okay? It's still going to be together. So I don't know what, I, you know, I didn't go into the deeps of this, but I see it is it's clinical. So um, that makes sense. But yeah, Chad, get y'all some smart mouth. Um, it comes in different strengths. The one I use is just the regular strength. So, um, yeah, you want to make sure that your breath is together. But anyway, I don't talk myself till I'm tired. And I don't know why I did that because I got a pink appointment. Pop that shit, mama. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm hope that you have enjoyed this video i hope i have gave you some really really good tips and tricks that you're actually going to utilize if i did please make sure that you smash that like button for your girl and if you just enjoyed hearing me run my mouth definitely hit that subscribe button and join the family and until next time you already know i want you to be happy be healthy be safe this is your girl p hope and i will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.